now that we've finished netting out um Mount glory we have to go to this uh furable fortress right full face a lot of alterations in there it's in monstad there is about three days remaining i want to do this right now or i forget I want to focus on sheer story quest after that. Um, yeah. Uh, your recent travels uh, have seen you and Paimon encounter all manner of strange creatures. But in light of various factors, Paimon would still like to have some fun with cats. Such, you intend to return to Mondstadt and drop by the cat's tail. Let's go there. Every... Is that Rosaria? Oh, yeah, talk to Sarah. Oh, looks like Margaret is talking with those two people over there. Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh, she's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. Hmm. And she's also here to play with some cats. Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just Valerina. as Victoria requested. Okay. Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. That doesn't solve our biggest problem, though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, yeah, well, uh, don't get them to trust you. That big problem, big no no. They're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. We just opened, and the furball fortress is already about to go under. Ah, don't say that. We're here for the rescue. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. Adventurer? Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Our cat saviors! They've appeared already! <laughs> uh, saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden considering we just met. Yeah. It sounds like a title you love to. Smell a commission coming. I'll try to keep it short. My name is Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. Furball Fortress. Okay. I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, Getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. Also, there's a huge amount of cats, of stray cats roaming around in Mount Dad. Think about it. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. Yeah. <laughs> I just That's accepted the assignment said. from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine, or the spare time to help. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures. They've all been settled. The main problem is, um, the cats. They, uh, keep Blasting swatting at, at me. No. They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. Yeah, well. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Has 
heard something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Yeah. Uh huh. The kind-hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't Margaret? able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist the help of the Honorary Knight and their trusty helper in white. <laughs> their trusty helper in white. Helper in white. Ain't description there. We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself. Huh. Wait, wait till uh, Venti <laughs> hears you. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. But that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation. Hey. Perfect timing though now. We're just talking about playing with cats. Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just like... That's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Yeah, I mean, yes, I think. Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. I think we'll if you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part. <laughs> this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church yeah, activities in any case. I know, Rosario, I know. Don't worry. Ah, so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. Well, yeah. I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way onto the third wall fortress we go. It's like it's just like the cat's tail. Oh subdivision. It's just a regular tail. house. Oh, gotta say, Pyma was expecting something a little <laughs> bigger with fortress in the name and everything. This was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the cat's tail inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. Few million mora. Alright. Of course, not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different yep. name. Huh, maybe Furball the... Furball and Friends for Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring at us! Yeah, the cat is staring at us. Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us- She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! Snowball. We should call her Snowball! Yeah, I mean, Tofu would be a good fit. Fitting isn't a bad choice either. Yeah, Tofu. Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler. But Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. <laughs> snowball best? Okay, Paimon, just... Get on with the, the names, you know. Don't have to name anything because you know you control my destiny. Of course. Kitty, but anyways. kitty, kitty. That's it, Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. It, it's been what? A minute? 
And you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. Okay, Paimon. Ah, uh, there was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. Yeah, man. Also acquire intelligence. First things first, though. You gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. It all comes down to you. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to yep. become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you <laughs> might want to keep, keep an eye on your, hey, uh, on your expressions. facial expressions. Come on, Paimon, that's rude. These poor creatures picked up off the streets, given a name. And they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. Yeah, you could say that. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Yeah. <laughs> now she's... Now Snowball is coming to you. Wow. Hey! Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria! Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Did Rosaria <laughs> just smile? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw it too. I pretend like I didn't see it. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Yeah. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I, I'm going to go get some air. Call me if right. you need. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Oh, I'll give it some time. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh, great cat oh, great whisperer. Cat whisperer. That's another name for Paimon. <clears throat> We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress. And I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem, just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. Yeah, there's a there's a difference between trust and uh liking someone. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase, so the more I can learn at this stage, the better. Alright. Okay, let's have a look. You must meet various requirements. Addition. Adding up. Fluffy. Line. Hope. There are three attributes. Confidence. Durability. And aesthetics. You are required to select a one suitable furnishing type to match your overall area fits. It's the free attribute requirements. That means no more and no less. It has to be white. The icon uh, of the furnishing's primary attribute is displayed in the upper left corner of the interface, okay? Uh, in addition to the main attribute, it will also provide a small amount of other attributes. There's only one unique combination of furnishing that furnishes attributes. Meet the challenge. Furnishings that comprise the combination have appearances that complement each other the best. Okay. After you have completed your fluffy feline homes that are in place food, and hold knowledge by them. Uh, we have Cats, you can call the corresponding cat at the throne of the tower. <laughs> no, the tower. Or invited to play directly. Oh! Got to Valerina's tower.
Never mind that for now. Let's start business. Doesn't talk. Okay. Ah, so that's what you were concerned about. Well, we've nothing to worry about as far as Mo is concerned. My parents are both merchants, rich, but they do support me with additional funds each month. So ru running the fortress is no big deal at all. I might look like a bit st uh, stiff breeze, like to blow me away, but I was the riddle solver in my adventuring team back then, when I was with the Adventurers Guild. Quite often my entire team relied on my intelligence to overcome the strange mechanisms in the ruins and get us to the treasure. That's to say, I didn't come cheap uh, if anyone wanted to hire me as a freelance adventurer. I used to take on quite a bit of work too. Sometimes I'd even complete over 10 missions in a month. In fact, the more I earned on my own has surpassed the operational funds my parents provided me with. At this point, I have enough to handle my daily expenses for a lifetime and then some. I don't really have any hobbies, and now the money that was just sitting in my savings is being used to help chat today. And tomorrow might help more animals still. That works out just as it should, don't you think? Wow, you're certainly wealthy beyond common expectations. Hang on, what do you mean that word sound just says it should? Um, how should I put this? I've been part of many adventuring teams in my time, and I've dealt with all sorts of animal-loving pets. I've also met some passionate souls and others, and the Knights of Avonius saw the church to adopt, adopt um, stray animals. This, while... They themselves don't have the money beyond that needed uh, to support themselves. Some good souls with the means and on the um, other hand, don't need enough more to take care of one or two great cats. They are good role models. I mean, it's good to have sympathy, but I don't really like asking others to do things that they, well, aren't even responsible for in the first place. You know, just because of your own feelings. That's why solving this problem is a job for someone who's both willing and rich, like me. I'll pay and I'll do my part. Of course, I'll stop offering you two and Miss Rosario once I learn how to get along with chats. Um, you know what, Valerina? That's kind of cool. I want to know what you had this side of you. Great chance for real lucky to have met someone like you. Someone sure hopes that the verbal fortress will help more cats in the future. A commandable spirit. Such a wonderful praise from the honorary knight in chat whisper Paimon. Now I'm getting really pumped up again. I'll keep working at it. I will learn how I will learn how to communicate with cats and manage fortresses as best as I can. Alright. Uh food and drinks. Uh uh did you set up a kitchen in here, Valerina? Valerina hasn't seen one. And what about the chef? Uh or are you gonna step up to the plate? As you can see. While this place isn't officially open yet. Um, I'm just still stay here for long periods of time. And I wouldn't say making them go out and buy food and drink themselves is an ideal situation. As such, I set things up with Sara and Food Hunter so that if our guests have requests for takeout, you can leave them with me. And Daria or I will put the order in at Good Hunter. Not running this place make a profit, so the prices for order and take out will be the same as getting straight from the restaurant. Wait, not even charging them for the delivery fee? Sure, our guests will be thrilled to be able to enjoy delicious food at the original price while playing with cats. Right? Then you think it's a great idea, don't you, Chop Whisperer? Once the fortress officially opens, this can be one of its selling points. Uh, the more people we attract, the more likely. Cats are to find suitable owner. Once the number of visitors and the rate of which at which I adopt cat which is a nice balance, I consider spending the sale scale of our operations. Once that happens, we'll be able to add management area and areas in 
which of the stray animals can be adopted. Though that's an issue I'll have to plan out in the future. Let's leave the business operations and death at Jabra into Don't sweat that stuff. Yeah. But the, well, that was the same thing with Lisa, Lisa with uh, the alchemy potion, but we are. No worries, we know you're busy. <laughs> as busy as you, as I expect. I should watch the two of your word more, if anything. Alright. Uh, let's have a go. Place. Each furnishing must be carefully selected to fulfill requirements. Okay. We got it. <laughs> so, what is this? Uh, tea time. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know. Lunch break and overflowing. Uh, library? Leave that. Uh, lead. Um, we play with chat after feeding it any kind of food. Ish. One bowl of pure white cotton is awesome. Something on your mind again? Okay. Let's um, work through it together. Two heads are better than one. Wait. You can select a chat from the throne of power, or directly invite a chat to come and play. Chat's friendship levels are as follows. Trusted, cherished, inseparable. The eight points where you can pet the cat are the right ear, left ear, face, lower body, um, upper body, uh, tail, right paw, and left paw. Uh-huh. Different chats have their own preferences for where they wish to be put. Press in order to pet the chat. If you pet right where the chat lights it, its friendliness to you will increase. But its value will remain the same or even decrease should you pet a spot that releases the feline. Uh, repeatedly petting the same part of the chat will cause friendliness to increase by less and less. Until it no longer increases at all. <laughs> As such, you must, you must adjust your approach and pet the chat in different spots. After you have switched up the places you are petting it a certain number of times, the chat's rate of friendliness increase will reset across all the body parts that you pet it. Once a chat's friendship level has increased in the next stage, areas where it did not enjoy being petted may change. We now permit you to pet it in new places. The keen observation and get along with them now. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so the upper body is good. Lower body is good. Um Uh, left here? Nope. Nope. Right ear. Doesn't like the, the ears. Okay. Understand. Uh, do you like the paws? Maybe. Yeah, he likes that. I mean, she, she or he, Yeah, I don't know. Reach their cherished friendship. Alright. So now I can touch the ears now, no? Yes. <laughs> nope. Still not this ear.
Friendship level has reached inseparable. <laughs> Go. Uh, escape. A joyful session spent play. Oh, hey, Mona. Uh, since when? Since when did you arrive? Um. Um. Not. Not playing more. Already set in several. Uh, okay. uh Mona. Talk and meow. Okay, uh, is this really how cats treat one another? I wonder if my pronunciation is on point. Now, <laughs> looks like Snowball didn't understand even a whisker. Mona, are you trying to speak cat? Professor... Professor Mona Magistus. That is not how you pronounce it. Try roaring at it like raw. <laughs> hey! Raw sounds more like tigers or lions. It's a good way to frighten a kitty and turn it into a scary cat. Oh, Paimon, so the rumors were true? You really are working at the Furbal Fortress. Working probably isn't the right word. We are helping Valerin, Valerina and Rosaria out, so we're more like uh, consultants. Yeah, that's it. Being a consultant sounds really impressive. <laughs> By the way, great astrologer Mona, are you looking to adopt a chat as to in your astronomical observations? Based on my understanding of astrology, it shouldn't be too hard to teach a chat to read the various aspects of the stars. I might even teach one to help me write manuscripts. Still, teach at Snowball. Boldly stare straight at Snowball. Now? <laughs> on such a thought, maybe not. Only one can, on, who can only read the stars but is still versed at stringing words together not suffice to convey my own insights or insights if i really needed an assistant it would be better to just take a trip to fontaine and with some staff member from this bird or find a melusine who can use a typewriter to bring them back to monster all right to really adopt a cat most it would be to play with it a bit to relax and relieve the stress from the exhaustion of academic inquiry one mustn't be a bad owner when you get tired of as if the cat is tired enough for a chat nap as well. Before I set foot in here, I never imagined that with chats would be such a joy. How wonderful life would be if we could always be happy like this. <laughs> like you're going to be a really conscientious owner. Yes, this cat's gonna be in fine hands. But I've also heard that some cats can be quite rambunctious, always jumping around, biting and throwing the furniture. Imagine my manuscripts for astronomy tomes ruined by Feline canines would be troublesome indeed. Making a snack out of precious books? I can barely imagine something so terrifying. Mobile, quite well behaved, seems not to comprehend my meaning. I also like that special connection. So I would like to observe a bit more, you know, an eye out for obedient cats. Oh, and I must calculate the cost of a cat bed, have food and other expenses. Not too luxurious, but also not too shabby. But also not so shabby. Yeah. Couldn't do to submit the chat to hardship. Okay, take your time. There are many more fur free lines in the fortress. Yeah, Valerina said that uh, she'll adopt even more strays in the future. But even if the cats catch you out today, I always come back often to play and have a look. Now. Oh, ready. Hey, Rosaria. Back here. Hmm. 
not playing the cats? Or do you have a takeout order for me to take care of? What do you think of this job? You don't seem to play with the chats much. Do you find this boring? Alright. Boring and interesting now, relative. Alright. I don't anticipate any major incidents or accidents occurring here. It's a very ordinary job. A little different from staying at the church. Hmm. No. There are some differences. Some of these cats are very clever and they That's fine. I find interacting with them interesting enough. Even though Valeruna is quite similar to Victoria in the way she finds things to do, we have very different ways of doing it. Which experience has been, and that in itself is new. Not a bad feeling. Sounds great. I don't think you get along pretty well with Valerina and the chats, really. You do indeed get along well. You're great bodies for sure. Thank you, and I hope things stay that way. I haven't finished talking with you. <laughs> which chat do you like? Uh, which chat do you like the most? Simon's curious too. Have you ever found a chat you'd like to get close to or wanted to be care of? Rather sudden, but I suppose it's natural for people to be curious about things like that. Uh, I would say no. Wow, that was great. I knew it. Different people have their own definitions of the word like. Uh, to me, right now, no living being or object being curious. Yeah, it's about the same for things I dislike. My willingness to care for these cats to spend my time on them is because it's my job. Or should I say that's a problem before me that requires little effort on my part to solve, so why not? If nothing else, this job's presented with me with some surprises. I consider that good enough. Uh, I didn't really get that, but it sounds positive. No worries, Paimon. How long is that Rosario for the both of us? Don't overthink it. Uh, life's like a place at place light late most of the time. You must need to get used. And if you can't, I'm sure someone of your ability can change all you see before you. Good luck, either way. And I'm not finished. I guess I'll leave you to it. Sure, come find me if you need anything else. Lay. So here you can choose whichever cat you want to pet. Uh, right. Gotcha. So, uh, Mona, do you have anything else to say to me? Hmm, well, I do find inspiration sometimes when I play with the chats. But as I do, I find my motivation to write wailing. On the other hand, you're always raring to go every time I see you. So it's as if you're simply in inexhaustible. Inexhaustible, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. We're not workaholics either. Yeah, we're always traveling, so we don't do too much exhausting work. But when I dropped by the Steambird before, I have some things, I noticed an editor compiling mountains of notes. Hundreds were related to a blonde traveler. Throwing the puff of fruit, floating here and there. Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, defeating monsters and mountain bandits up and down the land, escorting massive cargo through dangerous areas. Yeah, we did. And even and every seven days, they can travel commissions from ordinary citizens, sometimes to busy and dangerous bounties. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what we do, but, uh, yeah. Just helping. Your weekly workload, your weekly workload is practically 14 to 17 times that of some elite adventurers. Some people even ask for star readings to predict when you'll arrive, just so they can hire you. Huh? We. Were you actually that hardworking and popular? If you could apply that same industriousness to helping me write articles, I mean, I would provide a different detailed summary in the underlying theoretical basis and you would just help me put it to paper. You could probably publish hundreds of papers in a year. No, you'd be able to publish a slew of books with tons of time to spare. Uh, yeah? Uh -huh. My handwriting isn't exactly the prettiest. Great, and uh, what would my cut be? Someone's not sure you get paid all that much for your writing anyway. Would there be enough left if we split the proceeds? Split down the middle regardless of the amount, of course. With my brains in your tireless toil, it will be a completely fair arrangement. The more we write, the more we'll sell, and the greater will the readership. The readership. The income will naturally grow substantially. Oh, I've read a whole bunch of seats. Meaning that I'd not run out of material when I 
I proceeded at ill pace for several years. I'll wager that plenty of those articles uh, will end up being knighted and utilized by the damaged. And oh, those licensing fees will be glorious. Anyway, if you're willing, then we can discuss the details once I finish preparations. Who knows? Perhaps we'll become an ace astrology arrangement with the highest proportion of Thesis contributions. It's such a bummer. Such a bummer that this event is not voiced. I would have liked it to be voiced, to be honest. Um, are the manuscripts being difficult? Difficult is not the phrasing that Not ideal in quality, perhaps? Though the results of my astrological observations are crystal clear, my mind is equally sure about how it wants to convey them, I just can't put quill to paper. If I were to put out something wishy-washy in the circumstances, the quality would not be worthy of the name of Mona Magistus, the astrologist. Uh, so it's not just burn out. Expectations you have for yourself. Yes, and it was such a moment that I happened to hear about the trial opening of the verbal fortress and thought I'd come and try relaxing a bit here. You know, get myself back in the right state of mind. But after playing with the chats, I found that I was uh, too relaxed while the study of the stars and penning papers requires a certain seriousness. It's totally normal. Maybe you just haven't played enough, but playtime short and force yourself to work. No surprise that you focus don't think about anything. Empty your head completely. Take a nap when you tire yourself out from playing. You'll definitely be full of energy and enthusiasm the next day. The ideal anyway, but what if you still just want to have fun? You have a point, Paimon, which does fit with another possibility that the current force of fate has yet to come into contact with some factor. Deadlines are fixed, but they suited to import the word of Let's go. Wait for the crucial signal or oh, sign. Uh, but for now, I shall follow your advice and stop thinking. I'll continue enjoying myself here in the Furball Fortress. Who knows? A sign that I should pick up my pen just might come tomorrow. And so, and you too. In that last thing here. Dr. Daniel Lee. Yes, it looks like you still have work to do. I shan't take up any more of your time then. Alright, two. Place that. Uh, so now, most important things are aesthetics. Alright. That works. Build a cradle. Farming. I don't know what this is. Loss of pistol. And. Bedtime. I don't know. But it works. So I'll let it be. Give something to the chat. Three in white chat and Charles Wild Rabbit. And I play with it. Alright, so remember. Each chat doesn't have the same as when it comes to petting, being petted in certain parts. Let's see. First, the tail. No. The paws. No. <laughs> uh, the ears. Okay, so the ears, it works. That works. The right ear. Well. The face. Hmm. It likes the face. And the upper body. Seems to like that. <laughs> uh, the lower body. Okay. Well. So it seems that I understand. Oh, so, uh, face. Upper body. Uh, left ear. Alright. Alright, um, 
Let's have a look. Here. Left. What about the paws? Nope. What about the tail? Oh. Likes the tail. I mean, he or she, I don't know. Friendship level has reached inseparable. I've done it. Joyful se Amber. 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 What, what are you even doing here? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know that you want to chat. Meow. 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 Oh. There, Jay. Bunny? Oh, as fast as a rabbit. I understand now. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. Um, both Bunny and Amber have a point. Oh, so that's it. Most Institute Observation. Actually, Pelman doesn't really get it either. Until the Tambor and Bunny have reached an understanding. Mole Paimon, you're here. I was just thinking about uh, going to look for you. I've already heard all about your, your helping Valerina with the Furball Fortress. So, the Mole Paimon for you. That in your batch in Monster, you already be such a huge help. I, the, or the honorary knight, fill my mission, matter its nature. The defense of the cats of Mondstadt is one of my many. I don't know which. What were you and Bunny discussing just now? Seem to be having a really fun conversation. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, I was just asking Bunny about the weather, weather on, oh, the weather in. Whether or not it's rain. Huh? The chats know that kind of thing? <laughs> Lisa said something about that. According to a butcher read, chats are very sensitive to humidity. Don't like the feeling of being wet. Yeah, true. So, if they notice a, su a sudden increase in humidity, they start nervously pulling their faces and their fur. Once a chat does something like that, it's a sign that a large rainstorm is likely on its way. Oh, Paimon had no idea. So cool. I just learned something amazing by accident. That chase and all, let's pay more attention to cats during our travels. We won't, uh, be soaked by huge downpours. Those big black clouds. Yeah, well, this happen even with, even if, uh, we try taking shelter or not. And I suppose we'll have to pay more attention going forward. Since when I have an I pay close attention to ch chitties. Yeah, well. I uh, originally came here to ask Valerina about something. Just as I was talking, I was talking to her. This little chitty snuggled up close to me and yawned so loudly, so cute. And she was so affectionate, so affectionate, affectionate towards me. Then, uh, well, then I need to show how friendly I am too. That's when I remembered what Lisa told me, so I went ahead and asked Bunny about the weather. But she responded by rubbing her face, wetting her tail. Laying on the ground, snuggling against my hand. So, is it actually going to rain or not over the next few days? We don't know. Well, that's too bad. <clears throat> so, um, if I play, it will tell me that we are inseparable. Oh. So, I'll be inseparable with lots, lots of stray chats, it seems. I hope that, will, that it will show outside of this room. Hey, you two, doing such a great job painting this place. I never imagined you'd be so good at this, too. As long as you're enjoying yourself, Amber. That's right, Ballerina also orders food from Good Hunter, so Amber can stay here and play when you're on vacation. Oh, uh, speaking of you, Birch, uh, have you finished all your recent missions, Amber? You were asking Bunny about the weather, was it because you have to go out on the lighting patrol soon? Lads, no need to worry, I won't be going out on patrol today. Asking Bunny about the weather to make conversation, that's all. 
I'm here today for two reasons. First, to satisfy my own curiosity. Second, to help a friend. I have a friend who is very skilled at making handicrafts and used to make all kinds of toys for kitties and doggies. Where the furnishings that tale was were made by her. Oh, okay. That's why I heard about the third fortress. He contacted Valerina and supplied some furniture and toys. Very same one. See here, in fact. What I didn't uh, imagine was that Valerina could bear the nations with insisting on playing her. Now that the fortress is a few days into its dry opening, my friend wants to understand whether or not the cats uh, like her toys. But she doesn't really have time, and she doesn't understand that's that very well either. Uh, so I'm here to conduct an on-the-spot inspection. The results are in. All marks. If even the person making toys can't communicate with them, how do you manage it, Amber? Natural talent? Or you practice with Baron Bernie? I don't know either. Maybe you're right, Traveler. Oh, no. Uh, those do both sound like good reasons, but maybe there's another, that's my duties as an outrider. In open, outriders are different from scouts, who both quickly obtain intelligence on the enemy, and also strike first. Outriders need to do their best to stay out of sight and use every means at their disposal to gather intel. Sometimes the chirping of birds, balancing of trolls, and the grunting of wolves can tell me what I need to know about monsters. If I'm lucky, animals that are familiar with me Come up and warn me of the monsters of their own accord when they see me in areas I often patrol. Right? Whether they do it by chirping, bouncing, or grunting, they'll all mean pretty much the same thing. Oh, scary. There's bad guys over there. But compared to those sense of animals, the cats outside are really easy to with. Never mind these super well behaved little chitties in the global fortress. Uh, I might never imagine that fighters would have to master skills like those. As if it was Paimon, probably get dizzy just trying to listen for a little while. Did we have um did we have um, a hangout with Amber before? If you don't consider the first act of um the first act of uh, the onset art on quest to be some sort of hangout with them. This wasn't it. Um Probably get dizzy just trying to listen for a while. Oh, it's not some essential skill, it's just something I picked up from my experiences. Now, for an outrider, the most important skill to master is using wind glider. On that note, Limo, wind glider skills have got rust in your long absence from Mondstadt, haven't they? Are they? Would you like to test me personally, Dr. Ember? My gliding skills soar upward by a second. Now that's the spirit, that's what I like to see. The next time we meet, I'll be sure to give you a real test. A competition between me and Amber. Go on. The skills really are even sharper than before, and I'll personally make some sticky honey roast. Yay, Amber's sticky honey roast. Let's find the time to practice a bit more soon, Limo. Gotta make sure to batch both some. Alright, but what kind of cats do you like, Amber? Me? I'm not really sure myself. I'm not sure about a lot of things, actually. Um, each cat is cute as it's in its own way, so it's really hard to compare. That's true. Fur color, bl uh, bi uh, fur color blind. Uh, okay. Oh my god, fur color, build, fur patterns, eyes, ears. There are combinations of characteristics beyond count. If Paimon had to choose, he wouldn't be able to pick either. Though, when you put it that way, I don't think I've ever seen a red cat. A pyro chitty! <laughs> if there really were red cats, I'm on bet they'd be super energetic and wreck the whole house. They grew upset. Well, Tibet's a big place. You can find all manner of amazing things here. To think about it, there are slimes of all different elements and colors. Maybe there are cats with all sorts of fantastic and exotic colors in some place we've never heard of. Yeah, like um, this certain talking cat that is going to accompany us into the lost city of Remoria. Lost city, lost nation, rather. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Grandmaster's really experienced and knowledgeable 
Maybe he's seen some during his travels. Once he comes back, let's find an opportunity to sit down and talk together. Ask him then. Yeah. Once he decides to come back, which hasn't been the case for so long. Maybe we'll see him in Atlin. I don't know. Capitano. Uh, thanks for the compliments. We'll keep at it. Yeah, but don't forget to rest. Try not to tie yourself and climb on out. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. This place doesn't have a... Wait, we have to go upstairs? Okay. Alright, place. This time around, I need a lot of confidence. Alright. There you go. Um. And a stop it. And hold. The resting place. Coach and school. There. Place and teach. As the combination team. Ornaments. Confidence. Tools. But it's comfy, carpets comfy, and toys comfy. Say that. The right combination. Play with a cat. Uh, let's give it uh, some fowl. Not sure when it happened, it's most <laughs> loud. <laughs> cat. In. Day to say hello. Not every chat is the same. Oh, if I touch the paws or the tail, is it going to just to do some hissy fit? Nope. Paw is the right strat. <laughs> what about this paw? Nice. What about the tail? Nice. If he likes the paws, tail, what does it doesn't like? Face? Uh, what about this part? Nope. Doesn't like that. <laughs> what about the upper body? I might like that. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> what about the face? He likes it. Uh, he or she. Uh, ears? Nope. Okay. Continue with the paws and the tails. <laughs> I mean the tail. Oh. Why did... Reached the cherished friendship. Touch the ears now. Nope. <laughs> hey, even that as well? You've got to be kidding me. Where am I supposed to? Inseparable. Hey, Razor. Razor. It's been such a long time. Oh, Razor. The best boy. <laughs> oh my god. It's been such a long time. I mean, I think it was since Wine Laser Fest, right? Hey, uh, Razor. Dust Bowl. 
That's that's the name of the cat. Uh now <laughs> it's you. Me and Tony. Touching Razor. Are you touching wait, touching Razor? Are you touching the dust bowl? Now Yeah. It seems like Dust Bowl is trying to say Right? Familiar scent. Friends. Good. Happy. Meow. Meow. Friends follow the scent. Into. Happy. On your body. Smell. Earth clear. Scent of friends. Also I'm on. Very sweet scent. It smells smells good. Huh? Sweet? Would that be the flavor of the pancakes about village Jeevas? I want to eat that baby. <laughs> no sweat. You can still eat triple what you had before. <laughs> really? Someone didn't 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 even notice. Hmm. All the pancakes' fault for being so delicious. Careful, Paimon. Um, <laughs> and Paimon also wants to eat sweet Madame steaks in um, hash browns. Oh, and drink some apple cider, by the way. Okay, that's the menu for the next meal then. Come on, Moon, let's go to the place our uh, order with Ballerina. Come to Razor. Thank you. Thank you. This bowl has got me nuts. <clears throat> Don't do not try to go about this. Lots of nuts <clears throat> and meat boxes. I am very full. Sounds like probably not order delivery then. Does Paul deliver the food to you, Razor? Oh, meow, meow. <laughs> Someone never mentioned that the chats would actually end up at the Cosmos here in the Fable Fortress. Actually, all the chats meow. Hey, Razor. Okay, now let me just... No, 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 no. <laughs> just want to talk to Razor, my boy. Sing Lupitro. I'm happy. Uh, Razor? Feels like you already knew each other. It sleeps outside the city wall. Me there. Very comfy. It has many friends outside the city, starving. Inside the city, there's food. Me, hunting, it's food. Oh, so you already made friends with Dust Bowl outside the city. Sounds like you do have quite a few friends out there. Then they deliver the food out to their friends outside? Why don't those little chats just come inside the city? Sure, the walls might be a little high, but there's shelter, shelter from the wind and rain and plenty to eat. You like butterflies flying high. They don't like places without wind. That's all different. Or more. Who wants to give food to friends? Friends like human food. Like human food, but they don't want to live in the city? Some pretty fickle cats. Wants to, wants to bring friends inside. Use food. So, convincing chance to come inside with food actually might do the trick. But if we bring, if we bring all those cats over here from outside, will the Fable Fortress be able to handle it? This place was really filled to the brim with all kinds of chats. Ballerina would be really happy, but Hans might. Cats good. Good, good. Hungry, bad. I will help. Wow, nice of you, Razor. That's my boy. Anyway, we should make sure that the cats are fed first. Yeah, no matter what, we should take care of delivering the food before anything else. If only we could convince them to try to live in the city. It it's things to Val Valerina. That's right. After all, the costs of running this verbal fortress are all coming right out of her pocket. Razor, uh, how are the cats outside the city doing right now? 
days. Brought food to friends. Now, do not hurt me. Phew, that's a relief. Now that we don't have to worry about the chat suffering from hunger pains while we speak, we'll discuss with this with uh, Valerina. Thank you, little girl. With you, no need to worry. Blue Patrol. Family. Yes, awesome. <laughs> so, uh. Have a look. Reliant favor, favor 75%. Still have two more to go. Uh, snowball's warm little den. Inseparable. Uh, soft, white, fluffy little kitty. It may seem a bit timid at first sight, but once you become familiar, We'll see just how friendly and warm it can be. Uh, so why not clutch up your courage, try and get close and make friends with it. Bunnies hopping home. A grey and white kitty with black stripes that is uh, nimble in intelligence. Seems to uh, have all the energy and rest restlessness of a wild rabbit. If someone were to help tidy up the fern's head and chest that has been messed up by a running around everywhere, certainly be just grateful. Dust Bowl's relaxing room, a grey cat with emerald green eyes that possesses a grace of an aristocrat. Build a, build a relationship with it, and her to imitate the mannerisms of, her, uh, of an aristocrat. Gently raise its paws in hands. Perhaps this can certainly help the two of you grow closer. And that's why I try to, to first touch his paws. Have a look. Okay, all that. Accomplishments. This will be a... This will be a... Rumor Gems. Save for all the Chino, obviously. <clears throat> Opie's Fantasy Paradise. Opie. Well, for Dopey, Dopey, only a little home that balances confidence to ability and that can satisfy its infinite trivials in the in that mission. All the world holds Wait. dear. Is but That's a cross the door. Of constant motion. Oh, okay. I stand I'll before it, alone oh, now and I unchanging. Know, obviously. Nice. Let's see. So, a bit more of confidence, but uh, almost the same. Okay. Trying to do this. This. This, Alex, and this Alex. Oh, wow! And first try. Hey, I'm a. Uh, I'm really good at this. All right. Done. Let's feed the let's feed the chat. Fish. Black and white. Eyeballed. All right. Um, play with the chat. Let's see now. Match. Lower body. He does like that. Um. Upper body? He likes that. Uh, the face. No, not the face. Tail? He likes that as well. The paws. Not like that. Likes the ears.
40. That's great. Uh, the face? Nope. The paws. No, my death. Ears. Hmm. And teeth. Doesn't mean anything. And. Separable. Done. Official. <laughs> of course. Full fruit. What was that even? Um. Special gestures. Who to the bee? Oh, ho, ho. So this is the rumored sacred land that people named the Furble Fortress. Yet it is furnished in such a precise manner, shabby one might even call it. Really, a few wings woven from vines of purple agate grapes might be built to silver lamps mounted with candles made of abyssal sea salt all the better to lit light the chat feeling matters with motives of night born stars right ah and yes statues fortune image of a chat millies by melting the venerable coinage of last dynasties and adorn them with strange pearls and dewdrops from the depths of the fjord. Surely this would make for an admirable choice. You surely must agree, are you not, dear familiar? Hmm. I have yet to declare your name to your princessin. Think of that. Think on that, then. And know that it shall be your utmost honor to be known to her. Now? Dopey. Princessin. Is not, isn't, isn't Dopey Do one of the nine, I mean, the dwarves? Princessin? No white? Too much correlations there. Um, the name is Dopey, it's teen princessin. Dopey isn't the brightest and you can't really understand or appreciate your exquisite choice of words. Please show him clemency. A princessin. Hey, wait. No, that's not right. Why does I won't get like this whenever she sees Fischl? Nothing wrong with that. Let me give it a whirl, too. I, the great chat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. <laughs> As I anticipated, chat conjurers, thou hast once more been brought for our artist person by the weavings of the threads of the threads of fate. It is the most Pleasing reunion. Yes, it is. The title, like Fischl heard about us from Valerina. By your counsel, much thought have I given of late within Immunatreich, Immunatreich, to realize the ingenuities obtained from prior experiences, and I have decided to select the most sagacious and sensible of chance familiars to accompany my eminent person on my sojourns. Meow. Oh, so you were also planning on taking care of it, Fischl. Well, understandable. Most people want to have their own after seeing just so how noble they are. But Fischl, don't you already have Oz? The two of you tend to move really fast. Can't keep up? Or are you going to have Oz fly while carrying the chat? <laughs> I, the Princess of Ertalange, uh, often traverse 3,000 universes. Just that. Though such a journey may not be long, having more suitable companions and gaining insight into things easily overlooked naturally wouldn't hurt. Oz also would like to have a cat familiar for play. 
I mean, uh, to join forces with to guarantee that my mood shall shine bright as moonlight every second of every day. Yet, it is a shame that though Oz went to great pains to don a form, most at ease, did not diminish to his majesty fully, not approach as bad familiars. Whenever dear Oz gets within five paces at familiar, the fur shall inadvertently stop on end in late lighter floaty floaty unmoored. And closer and terror rotates them and they flee for the hills. The animal archons devoted and loyal nuns recommended that Oz repose without, and as their advice was sound, I graciously assented. Majesty? Oh right, Hyman gets it. Uh, you mean that Oz's body has so much electro energy that the second he enters the verbal fortress, all the feline fur gets electrified, electrified. Oh, nice button there. <laughs> electrified, right? But if that's true, then how could a cat ever travel with you, official? Only there was some material in that to block the effects of electro. You can make flat cat clothes. Out of that material, and the cat can travel with you and Oz, no problem. No? The electro slimes will be no match once I have done this penalty of war. But now that Pyron thinks about it, the elemental power is super, super duper mega strong. If there was a material that could just something as powerful as the elements, that would be too good to be true. You know, elemental res, everything. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't stand around daydreaming. Ah, the, the naivete. Not jump to judge a cat familiar's talents through common sense. The semantic resources of mere mortal words struggle to accurately convey their properties. Somewhere in this world there exists a cat familiar that can, I think, endure in an inferno, an inferno uh, and ride upon the wind. Such a special entity would surely have no fear of thunder or lightning. They're very frightening. Yeah. <clears throat> so long as I am patient on my search, I shall find it. For sooth, even if I should seek for ten years or a hundred, it will be but a flitting instant. The I'm not, I'm not right. I'm not right. Yeah. Additionally, the devotion to one's development in life is as important as the innate nature one is born with. I see this dopey has immense potential. Perhaps after joining my retinue for a spell, we will become all the more familiar with the power of Electro. By happenstance, I, Incessin, have disentangled a million myriad, myriad menial affairs, thus allowing myself a tincture of time to spare. Perhaps then it shall not hurt endeavoring to stay here and familiarize myself with these cat familiars. I titrally this dopey. Now, <laughs> Uh, then Paimon hopes you'll have fun here in the Fobo Fortress, for sure. Is, is um, you don't, you don't to have a beach? With a... No need to tremble before the princess. You have done well indeed to care for these cats, you know. Honestly, even keep up the fine work. As the possessor of Ertalon, I shall remain here for a bit longer. Regarding reading the poetry of the soul of these blind familiars. Your Royal Highness, uh, the Princess and the Ertalon, how uh, proceedeth thy reading? <laughs> yeah, if I was curious too, how are you getting along with the chats? You find any special ones? <laughs> it has been just a few short days, merely a snap of the fingers, however, now promising, promising feline retainers are yet deep in preparation to display their religious capabilities. Before my royal person. Only this creature with a name most humble, as though it was seeking to actively facilitate accounts this dopey, there to respond to my tests. It's proven relatively cooperative. Cooperative. Praiseworthy. Wait, so the other chance just gave you the cold shoulder because they couldn't understand your unique way of speaking? And only dopey is usually willing to spend time with you? Blasphemer sent. Blas. Blasphemous slander. Oh, blasphemous slander. How could that be? <clears throat> Such topics are unworthy of further examination. At conjurers, the time has come 
Demonstrate your wisdom and offer up your counsel to my address person. I am sure that by this time, you have long since gained insight into old habits and favorite rituals fancied by the feline familiars here within the Furball Fortress. Oh, I just wanted to ask what the cats like to eat. An easy one. I'm sure I'll quit study. Once you notice the chats no one knew, you immediately thought of using food to get close to them. Most wise, my princess. This trend of food preference is several chats official, and based on Pyman's suggestion, come up with one that's suited for them. As expected, such an intricate formulation could surely only be mastered by you, my cat chanter is most clever. To discern the potential of each of these feline retainers, I, Princessin, must also reveal a suitable skill amongst my once numbered to all these chats the world. <laughs> Good luck, Vishal. So remember to decide portion control. Even it's their favorite food. Foods. Cats can't eat too much. Let to them pick out or waste food. I'm on. Hey. Why are you watching someone like that? My mom always orders what she likes and finishes every morsel. We never waste a tramp. Uh, at least Mama doesn't think she's ever, she's ever wasted anything. As for picking out, well, me sometimes it's a bit more than usual, but that can't really count as picking out, right? I mean, whatever. Okay. Uh, Vishal, again. Oh, has Oz been late? Oh right, what's else been up to while you've been playing the Furble Fortress? Is he just waiting by the door? Or did he go outside the city by himself? Would that be dangerous for him? Oh, it's not chest. This is ours we speak of. Osvaldo Afnavines into being who reigns supreme over three universes. Surely you are not concerned for his safety. Hardly necessary, I do say. Even at a hundred paces, a thousand paces, any harboring Treacherous intent would be overwhelmed and overawed by the mysterious depths of this gaze. Never dare to act rashly. In our journey through the ages, it is inevitable that Oz and I will sometimes act separately. When Oz is not at his place by my side, he prefers peace and quiet and will actively conceal his person rather than chat with mortals. Simply by observing the place at the surface of a lake, Oz can sift through millions upon millions of memories them allow entirely new philosophies yet undreamt of to double up one of his favorite pastimes the month thing she gets it he could be by side of the lake right now somewhere we can't see resting and enjoying the breeze so you get to have fun verbal fortress while Oz gets to treat himself in the way he likes right a deal for all congratulations are in order naturally I the princess and Dever Ertalon do not long linger here in this verbal fortress, for the pressing matters of many different worlds await the involves in myself. I must see you too, my dear cat conjurers. You'll surely have sought out a cat familiar. It is not Oz's might and majesty. Alright. Um, then we shall continue to dedicate ourselves to the cause. Most excellent indeed. Chat familiars all applaud your amazing work. Well, if you say so. Ah, bye, Fischl. Alright, um. Quick. Line. Fever. I'll go to the quest. to quest a gate inactivity oh. uh, the cat is hissing at me miss rosaria i'm scared you should probably give him some space get too close and all that swatting might catch you in the face Seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. Shelter has a new spray. 
something I'm most dignified about. Honorary Knight! Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball! He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here! Easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. All those evil things, all those bad people who forced you to do whatever it took to survive, they can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. Understood all that? Looks like it worked. <laughs> Smart cat. Whoa, this cat is way bigger than the others. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buell fruit juice. And he's wearing a scarf too. Huh? Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius! He deserves a name fit for a knight, then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pantalot? I like that. You really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. Paimon thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Sir Pantalot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. <laughs> you don't anything much better with them, Rosaria. But you'll find this is a bit more. It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. Yeah. Let Paimon show you how to put Sir Pantalot completely at ease. Paimon just needs to work a bit more of her magic and he'll be as happy as can be! That goes. Your ability. Okay. All right. So, your ability. Once we, your ability is that it's. Um, let's save that combination. It with some meat. Play. <clears throat> Does he like? Faith? No. Hail. Doesn't like anything.
Mandy. I see ears. Okay. At this point on, there's nothing that shouldn't be uh, viewed as negative. Unless. Oh. Hey. <laughs> this, is only, this is only 10. And. He likes uh, the belly rub. I mean, the upper body. Bill doesn't like the face. And there we go. We are inseparable. Goodbye, Sir Pouncelot. We go to the Fribble Fortress. his head and pinch his little cheeks. He does have a certain endearing quality about him. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Hmm. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. Yeah. The traces of restorative potion indicate that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity. Obedo? It's the Traveler, Paimon, and Sister Rosaria. And you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason. C captain He's the captain of the Knights of Livonius? An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. This means that Albedo has arrived to investigate our business. Don Valorina frantically searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Valorina appears intimidated by the identity of the visitor, unaware that the investigation team doesn't handle such things. There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. Hi. Not too long ago, Interim Team Feline Treatment Case Number 3, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team, and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Favonius. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. Oh, 
actually belongs to the investigation team. That would explain the Knights of the Bonus symbol. You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And what's with all those official sounding titles you added to his name? Interim treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Number three. Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested Whopper Flower Nectar. Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood huh. as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. Triple? Even regular sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paimon bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. Th that's awful! I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals, too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. But we all thought it was quite fitting. We even made him oh. that little scarf yeah, as a I testament to idea. his time among our ranks. Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. Yeah. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? I mean, it'd be no problem, right? Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? Wait, really? But doesn't doesn't he belong to your team? Well, we did take him in, but that was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. Huh. 
The investigation team is no place for a pet. We are a combat unit after all. This is going to be the full star. Okay. Well, uh, at least we know. <laughs> the investigation team is no place for a pet. Um, and we are a combat unit after all. Any night he got close Any to, we have to go on assignment close. eventually. Oh. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp. Mm -hmm. And bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. Right. All good points. All good points? Oh. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way he can slowly recover in peace. That's true. Great. Well, uh, hey. Welcome to the family, Sir Pouncelot. You've got a new home now. Thank you so much, Albedo. Oh, no need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. Yay. Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. It's... It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start, and you were the one that helped Sir Pouncelot calm down back there. Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just there. Ah, I've got it! I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a cat whisperer too one day. For now though, I'll settle for cat whisperer... in training. <laughs> hm. When I open for good, what do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt! Hmm, the sister and the Whisperer working together! Almost sounds like it was meant to be! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, this errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but this seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really can't thank you all enough for your support! Don't worry, there's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you! The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful! When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony! We'll cut the ribbon together! Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission! Rewarding in more ways than one! Mora, a sense of accomplishment, 
And of course, our special friend, Sir Pouncelot! Talk about a win-win-win! Triple win. Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good! Sir Pouncelot joins a lot. <laughs> So, um, seems like, uh, we finished this event. At least it seemed like it. Reached the church friendship with Sir Pouncelot. Alright. All the world holds dear we have these but a... Kills. Counts a lot. Oh. Also dropped the throne of Meower. And a combination of cat furniture forming the shape of the throne. It comes equipped with yarn, ornaments beloved by cats, and soft raspberry red pellets found in the tough full fortress. Uh, it is said the moment cats that when the fate moment, fated moment arrives, all Filled with delicious food, cat trolled upon the shawl, enjoyed the meal, went to the throne, and take the crown of the suited ruler. Such you can always find many surrounding the throne. Alright. The word is Okay. Well we brought as your counselor for our serenity pot. Drop of constant motion. Me. I stand I have a look alone and at unchanging. Our inventory. Now in our for our serenity pot. Have a look. Um, the giant orange cat wearing this. Off, season with the night, Junia. It was once a very fierce creature, having hunters wild creatures. But after much transporting from you, I'm on. I'm on. It has become an obedient pity. Its draft was a gift from the investigation team, but past experience demonstrated that it should not be entering team. Line indefinitely. As such, Albedo has suggested that you and Paimon take care of it, which is just fine by Paimon. After arriving in the realm within, Sir Pouncelot has stepped out of the shadow of its past, growing used to this leisurely lifestyle. Okay. Yeah, this. Um, in the. Um. Alchemy potion event. Got this Felix Felicium. Um, I didn't read the contents. The contents regarding that specific item. I'm going to read it now before I forget. Um, a peculiar potion Lisa concocted for you. It seems to shine with a golden sheen. It's said to bring the user good luck. Felix Felicius, yes. Or uh, Felicium. That for that matter. Ensuring all their uh, every endeavor will succeed until the effects wear off, as the required art is exceedingly rare, the brewing process is devilishly complex. Only a few have succeeded in gotten it. Lisa did it. Great. Yeah. That's all for today, guys. Uh, thank you all for tuning in today. I hope you had an amazing time with me. Um, covering different events such as, well, last three endings regarding find out the reaction and an analysis to version 4.0 special program, lots of things to look forward to, such as uh, Reboria, uh, Alicino Story Quest, Sino Story Quest, and we also um, were having cats 
this uh, herbal or a herbal fortress event. Lots of uh, characters. Yeah, we've been able to talk to a lot of people. Razor, my boy Beanbatch, uh, Michel, what that was awesome, Amber, Mona, Daria, and even Albedo. That was, that was great. But yeah, um, that is where I'm going to call it end stream. Thank you all for tuning in today, and I hope this video is find you well on the side of YouTube. Um, as I said, if um, you like the videos on the side of you, be sure to give them a like. Also, hit that subscribe button um, and activate the notification bell so you never miss a video from me in the future. And of course, with, without that too much, it's also a nice mention today that uh, you could come over at twitch.tv slash forever and, and give a follow here so that uh, you can see all this uh, experience live, first time edited, and of course, uh, that with me, yours and truly, uh, when the time allows. But yeah, I'll be all for me dudes and do that around the world, and I hope that you have a me. I'm yeah that said I'll see you all next video hey guys